Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SAS Metric School. Today we're talking gross revenue retention. And why are we talking about this? Because Clavio just filed their S1 to go public. And of course, S1s contain great financial information about SaaS companies or software companies about to go public. So let's dive into Clavio's gross revenue retention formula. And I was looking at this because I'm constantly adapting and improving my SAS metrics course and just curious how they define gross revenue retention or sometimes called gross dollar retention. So first, what is gross revenue retention? Well, it looks at how much revenue we're retaining from our existing customer base. There's no impact of new or expansion in gross revenue retention, but pretty common to include downgrades or contraction as part of your gross revenue retention formula. So when I was reading through Clavio's gross revenue retention formula, I was caught a little bit by surprise. And I'll, I'll read their, their definition verbatim here. We calculate our gross revenue retention in the same manner that we calculate NRR, except that GRR only includes the impact of customer losses and does not include the impact of customer expansions or contractions from the relevant customers. So that's their formula of gross revenue retention. Now, what stands out from that statement in their S1? So when they factor in customer losses, that makes sense. So we're talking churn and they don't factor in customer expansion because that gets into net revenue retention, but they're not including contraction, which is standard to the gross revenue retention formula. So read that, it was kind of surprised. Well, I thought, well, I've read in some other emails that they have a PLG motion. Maybe they have a ton of variable revenue. And then went on to read in their S1 that it says that really it looks like they primarily get their revenue from subscription income or subscription revenue and a little bit of consideration from a variable component. So reading through that, looking at their pricing page, it seems like a lot of their revenue is subscription-based. So kind of surprised by their gross revenue retention formula. And that's why it's always good to read into the details of the formulas, whether you're reviewing a public SaaS company or software company, or looking into a private SaaS company or do, do, doing due diligence or just calculating your own revenue retention formula. So it's just interesting. I thought I'd bring that to light. And that just shows you how there are not many standards out there. Of course, I'm a founding member of the SAS Measure Standards Board where we're just trying to bring light to these formulas and what are common ways to calculate SAS metrics. So a little bit about Clavio's gross revenue attention formula. Hopefully you found that insightful. Take care.